Hello everyone! In today's video we will create a model for Cameron bit knife. Let's begin! First let's open reference image of a knife and increase the size of it. Create a cube with default sizes with help of scale set Y to 9 and X to 306. Next change the selection mode to edge and select two edges from sides of the same face. Then use scale to reduce sizes and open the resolution. Use it with the tail level 6 to create bigger polygon mesh. Then use rotate on 90 degrees on that axis and bend on that axis so it can look like blade. Now open rotate to turn it back and use move and rotate to overlay blade on reference image. Increase the size with the help of scale and rotate again on axis Z and use bend on axis Z too, to make it more curved. Rotate it again and overlay on an image. Open scale to reduce the size on Z axis and use move and rotate tool to correct the placement. Now open freehand and choose the spline brush. Encircle the contour of the knife handle. Now use Move tool to move the handle aside and use the free hand again to circle the contour of finger holder. Now create a cylinder with diameter like a finger holder hole of a knife. Overlay the cylinder on the finger holder with the help of move. Now select both objects and use difference on them. Use scale with symmetry and value 10 on Z axis. Align finger holder with the knife handle with the help of move and rotate. Then open scale and reduce sizes of finger holder. Now select blade and also align it with the knife handle. Now isolate blade from other object and copy it. Set position of a copy and use difference to create face of a blade. Now place your copied object appropriately according to the first created one and also use difference. Now create a copy again and block the first copied one. Now set the position of new created object and make the second face on a blade. To do 
this use difference and then select all three blades and also use stitch and scoop with the option difference. Now create the cube with default sizes. Use skill to increase the size. Set 252 on X, 45 on Y and 359 on Z axis. Select the blade, key scalpies, cube and use difference on them. Rotate the object on 90 degrees and copy it. Use mirror tool to copy and open move tool to align it with the second blade. Select both sides of a blade and rotate them on minus 90 degrees, then isolate them. Then align blades with the knife handle. Now create a sphere. Change side this with the help of scale. Set 77 by X axis, 37 on Y axis and 103 on Z. Then use move tool and rotate to align the object with the handle. Now with the help of copy offsets, create two copies of an object and move them, so they would be placed one by one. Select three spheres and the handle and use difference just to check how it will be look like, but don't apply. Now create a cylinder with the false sizes and use scale to change sizes on axis X and Z on 13 and 10. Then move it to set up the correct position. After that, create 5 copies of an object like you can see on the video. Now open freehand tool and choose plane. Encircle the contour of one of the building parts of a knife. Then with the help of move and scale, set up correct position and size this. Now select one of our created cylinders and with the help of copy offsets, make a copy and move it aside. Next, use scale to reduce sizes on 3.5 on axis Z and X and open move tool to set up the correct position. Create two more copies, then select three cylinders and copy them two times. Use rotate to align all copies with the handle. After that, create three more copies of the cylinders and align them as well. To check how it will look like, select all small cylinders and the handle and use difference, but again, don't apply it. Now open freehand tool and choose spline. Encircle the counter of the second bulging part. Use scale and move tools to set up the correct position and size.
Now select all objects and use difference on them. Now create a copy of the differenced handle. Use mirror on a copy and with the help of move align both sides of the handle. Then align blade and the finger holder with the handle. Now select all object which we created and use merge on it. After that use magic fix with the maximum value to prepare the model for print. And that's it. Together we created cool carambit knife model that you can print. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. Have a good day. Bye.